I've had the old kettle, you know the kettle? Kettle. You ever heard of a kettle? A kettle, yeah, the kettle. Suzuki 750, kettle. <laughs> Just going back to my uh, project, Ont. Kept seeing quite a few Yamahas. But then I thought to myself, like, uh, every Yamaha I've ever had hasn't ended up too well. As though I'm not supposed to have a Yamaha, if you know what I mean. A bit like the wife with the convertibles. First Yamaha I got. This is how lucky I am. I've left school. Went down the paper shop to get some sweets. I was about 17. And then a little advert's in the window. Yamaha FS1E. Take away. Space needed. And it was on the same road that I lived on. So I went round, that won't be there. Yes, it was still there. So I pushed it all the way home. Tried to get it going, tried to fix it, couldn't get it to run. And then the next minute, police were knocking on my door. Have you got a Yamaha FS1E, whatever reg it was? Yes, it's in the back garden. Stolen. What? <laughs> Have you got the V5 for it? No, I had it given me. No, oh, don't give me that, mate. Who's going to give you a Yamaha or FS1E? Mm. You know, he uh, sort of took one look at me. And you know, when you back then in the 80s, when you were 17, were you ripped up in jeans because it's the only pair you had? On your ear down to your bloody shoulders. Don't give me that, mate. You think I was born yesterday? Oh, I'll take you down to the house then, you miserable git. <laughs> so I took him down to the house, and the woman says, No, no, we didn't give him to him. And I'm thinking, Oh, shit. And then this young a young daughter popped her head round the door and said, Yeah, we did, mummy. Yeah, that's that lad, that lad who we were getting the bike to last week. Oh, thank God. Oh yes, it was my son's. Can I speak to your son? Uh, he's just joined up in the army. <laughs> True. And all the copper said was, well, he's going to have fun when he comes out. So that was my first jam at all. My second Yamaha Again I was a young lad Pretty mad in there look God We want your money Give us your money We're going to stand here in the cold And get your free money yeah, the second Yamaha I had. You know, I hadn't really, really ridden by it, really. Didn't know anything about how to use the gears or anything. And it was a YD 250, gold and black. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful bike. Anyway started getting, well, it was the first day on it, actually, trying to ride the gears, changing the gears. Then uh, going down a steep hill, I don't know why I did it, I just thought I'll just go down to first gear, and I went down to first gear, threw the clutch out, back wheel locked up, obviously, so I was doing about 45. And it just snapped the end off the uh, selector drum. So after that, he could not get second gear. Every time he tried to put it in second gear, it'd just jump out. So that was my bad luck on that. 
and I did go round the corner too fast on that as well and ended up going on the other side of the road and up the pavement luckily there was a nice ramp there waiting for me oh yes I'll just go up that ramp can't turn anymore luckily enough it was coming the other way uh, the other Yamaha are still a young lad no driving license that was what, what they called the old Yamahas, they were blue and silver I'm not sure if they were YB is it the YB or the YD two cylinder one two five I can't remember what they were called. I know they're called Yamaha. Well, it must have been a 70s bike. Anyway, can you go to the chip shop on your bike? Get me some chips. This is my mum. Back then, when I was a kid. All right then, yeah. One got with chips. Went down Ashley Lane. Oh, where are you going then? <laughs> Let's go round the roundabout. Let's go round the roundabout. Let's go round the roundabout. Diddly doddly do. Brian the snail. Yes, yeah, so I went to get the chips, got the chips. And what did I do on the way home? It was dark, I forgot to put the lights on. Got stopped by the policeman. You got, got your lights on, son. Can I have your details? Uh, yeah, you ain't got none. Oh. It was about uh, an hour later. He still let me ride his son, though. I really haven't got them and the chips were freezing and I ended up going to court for that, I got done lost my licence even though I didn't have it got an hundred pound fine and that was back then in the 80s had to pay it off a pound a week <laughs> yeah so that was that Yamaha uh, let me think, let me think Yes, and then I got an RD250 and I thought, oh yes, I'll make a nice bike out of this, so I was working on it and it was in the winter like this, absolutely freezing and you remember the old galvanised steel frame and plastic sheds, you know, with the plastic panels I had one of them, 8x8, in my garden and the bike in it and it was absolutely freezing and I had an old Caligas, you know, with a bottle the gas bottle Caligas eater in there <laughs> yes, I know what you're thinking not very safe, is it? anyway, I start sticking the uh, petrol tank off oh, yeah, it's all loose, but it was stuck on cement it was stuck on cement I was pulling it and it won't come off but well, I didn't realise what it was stuck on but they had a, like a rubber pipe going from one side of the tank to the other side of the tank and it went underneath the frame you know the crossbar and that's what was stopping me pulling it off so anyway I pulled it harder and then what happens oh the petrol starts flooding out all over the floor and I look at the uh, Caligas eater and I look at the petrol creeping towards the Caligas and I think oh no 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 and it didn't even reach it and it just went whoosh and I'm locked in there with my door shut with bungee cords <laughs> to stop the wind blowing it up anyway I managed to get out and then I uh, run to the door and I turn back as I'm at the door 
and the flames are coming through the plastic roof of my shed and I look down and my trainer's on fire and then uh, the fire brigade come and I put it out and leave the gas, stan gas canister gas canister in the middle of the garden so stay away for it for a few days Oh, glad I didn't interact with him. What an excellent day for an exorcism.